Hello again and welcome to Paul's Racing Channel and round four of our Mixed Manufacturer Championship. We're coming to you from uh, the Circuit de Barcelona, Catalunya. We're on the Grand Prix layout over there in Barcelona. And uh, the normal two 30-minute races, starting with the GT4s. So here's the grid. Let's get straight to it. We've got Wadru in pole position. We've got Chuck in second, Paul third, Dyson in fourth, Jerry in fifth, Unforgiven sixth, Thomas seventh, Prime Machine in eighth, Rodders in ninth, Molson in tenth. So that's it, everybody, uh, except Thomas uh, is going with the, the Super Softs uh, here in race one. Let's get this uh, show on the road. So Wadru then. Current reigning champion is going to lead them away. Revs are up and away we go. Seems like everyone's got off to a good start. They have. Wadru then. Paul has got himself up to second already. Jerry having a look up the inside of Paul at turn one. No, Wadru then takes them away around turn one then. Paul and Jerry following closely behind. Then we got to Dyson in fourth. With Unforgiven, fifth. Chuck in sixth. And then a little battle between Prime, Rodders and Thomas there in seventh, eighth and ninth. Oh, and a little bit tight around there. Prime just getting squeezed out a little bit. Back to eighth with Rodders now attacking him in ninth place. Thomas having a look up the inside of Chuck. Does he get there? Not quite. Neck and neck, side by side. Uh, Chuck keeps it there. So Chuck still in sixth place then. Trying to chase down Unforgiven, who's got himself up in the fifth place now. Who's uh, got Jay Dyson ahead of him. That's his next target. Still Audrey, Paul and Jerry. Top three. Unforgiven then. Putting the pressure on the back of... Jay Dyson now down here to this next tight hairpin corner dropping down the first gear Unforgiven and up the gearbox up through these sweeping right hand up and then onto the difficult really tight chicane section get it easily wrong through here the curbs are really high you grab one of them a little bit too much and you're uh, you off into the stand Chuck had a little bit of moment or unless it was Thomas someone did back there anyway oh and someone's got a penalty and that is Chuck so Chuck's gonna pull over and Jerry did as well so both Jerry and Chuck with penalties they're gonna lose him a couple of spots that means Dyson's gone up in the third place now unforgiving into fourth Chuck still with a little bit of that penalty that he's just running off now Thomas is having a look no so Chuck still defending with that penalty Prime as well he's got a penalty too I can see there he is behind Thomas no, Chuck's got rid of that now pretty much anyway so Thomas having a look to see if he can get that sixth place off of Chuck anything Prime's catching him but Prime's gonna have to run off that penalty which will lose him a little bit of time ahead you got Rodders and Molson I think at the back there they are so Rodders in ninth Molson tenth Molson trying to chase down Rodders in that Merc up to this right hand up to sort of feather it through there just lift off a little bit a little bit wide from Molson who gets a penalty as well through there he might get another one now depending on what it thought about that. No, well, in fact he might have got it there. He runs it off straight away immediately, he gets rid of that. So that's good driving. Hasn't got to worry about that now, has he? So let's have a look at the leader then and just have a look and see if he's stretching away. Wadru, well he's a little bit, I suppose, by his standards. Paul though, trying to keep with him in second. Oh, cuts the corner a little bit there, Paul, and goes a bit wide now. Is that a penalty? Could be. Yeah, thought it would be. I think that was from the initial cutting, not the not the uh, exceeding 
it could be exceeding the track limit, limits on the exit, but I think it was more likely going into it where he got that. But anyway, he gets that half a second penalty that he's going to have to try and run off now. Jerry having a look at Unforgiven back there. Didn't get there, though. Still remains in fifth, so Dyson now will try and capitalise on the penalty that Paul's got and see if he can get past him. There's a couple of places where it's fairly easy to get rid of, but... It's actually not as easy as what you think around here. It's a very technical track. And uh, all sorts of different corners and things going on. So not the easiest track to, to get your head round as a driver, but some like it, some don't. So he's a little train of cars. Paul's holding them all up by the looks of it. So Paul out in second, then Dyson third, Unforgiven fourth, Jerry fifth, Chuck sixth. All lined up, all lock up from Jay Dyson now, just with the smoke from the tyres. That's going to allow Unforgiven to have a look. Paul still with that penalty ahead of him. Oh, Chuck runs wide with Jerry. That could both be penalties. Thomas has got one as well, so the penalties are racking up here. And that was okay. Chuck and oh, and Chuck and Jerry having a look at Unforgiven. No, didn't get there. Chuck also in the mix. Paul still with that penalty, so see what I mean? He's almost got a whole entire lap with that penalty and he's going to have to get rid of it by the time he gets to that start or finish, so this could be the opportunity that Dyson's looking for. Paul's trying his best to get rid of it, still can't get rid of it, he's going to have to, he's going to have to pull over as he gets onto that start or finish, and which he does, there he goes, he's going to lose a, a spot, there he does there. I think he's going to lose two or three actually. Paul back to third, fourth, fifth. So yeah, he does. So that's what half a second does if you don't get rid of it. So all the way back down to fifth place because of that goes Paul. Chuck right up behind Paul now. Dyson note being attacked by Unforgiven. Jerry in fourth. Meanwhile, look, while all this is happening, Wadru is loving it up in front. He's uh, just disappearing under absolutely no pressure while he's a lot of fighting it up behind him. Dyson, no, remains in second place. Oh, Jerry, close to Unforgiven. Is he going to have a look down here? Could well do. Remember, this race is all the way through. No stops here. And please check out our sponsors. As you know them by now, you should do, if you're familiar to the channel. Subshiftstore.co.uk, digitalmotorsports.com, pineapple grips and CD keys. So please check those guys out. Might find yourself a Christmas bargain. You never know. Oh, and Dyson now with half a second penalty. Head of Unforgiven. So he's going to undoubtedly get second off of him I would have thought Unforgiven if Jerry doesn't snatch it off him yeah it just pulls over or goes a little bit wide actually Dyson didn't really pull over just think he might have just had a bit of a tighter line through there so yeah, he does now he kind of just lets him go through Unforgiven or does he well he's not letting him have it easy is he but anyway you're not there to give it easy I suppose still racing at the end of the day he does now gets clear of everybody so it's Unforgiven then second Jerry third, or Drew there in the distance, pulling away, Paul in fourth now, Dyson just slotting in behind him in fifth, so these two are at it, Jerry right up the back of Unforgiven, now can he get him down here, he's going to be neck and neck coming down into turn one, I think he's going to get it Jerry, that's quick that Genesis that he's in, and he does get there, no problem at all, good clean pass, good racing there, Unforgiven or want it straight back though, that's what he's having to look up the inside, See if he can get it straight back off of Jerry, but no, he's keeping it there, isn't he? Ooh, Paul had a thought about it as well. Thought about diving up the inside of Unforgiven there, but the gap wasn't really there, so Paul in fourth, still being chased down by Dyson under pressure. In that smiling McLaren with them teeth. Trying to, oh, and Chuck right up behind him now as well. And it's, oh, and slides it around there, Dyson. Oh, got that wrong. That's going to lose him a lot of time. Chuck's going to have him as well, I think. So Chuck could very well get, no, not quite far enough up there. But, yeah, slid it around there, didn't he? And Unforgiven with a penalty as well. 
So, pretty much everyone at the moment getting penalties. He's just running it off now, I'm forgiven. Thomas up the inside of Dyson, so Thomas gets there. Good move. Actually took a couple of them now, I think. He was actually behind Chuck as well, so from 7th to 5th in one turn. Good move from Thomas now. He's on the attack, isn't he? Our current uh, championship leader. Unforgiven pulling out there. Paul goes through, Paul into third. Runs a bit wide himself though, and Unforgiven might get that back. Pushing him along pretty much. Uh, that's okay, and Paul gets another penalty for cutting that chicane. So not getting it right tonight, is he? It's very easily done though here, if I'm honest. That's my excuse anyway, but it is easily done. Unforgiven up the inside. Oh, and Thomas having a look as well. Three cars here. Paul still holding it there in third though, but Unforgiven, relentless. Thomas, Dyson, Chuck. Chuck on the attack now. I think Chuck might have Dyson as well up the inside. Not there yet, but he might do. Paul's still trying to get that penalty off and he's going to lose a couple of spots here for sure. Well, Unforgiven's gone past already, so Paul back to fourth. Unforgiven up to third now. Thomas, he's going to go right around the outside and he's not going to go around right around the outside, is he? Well, we thought about it and he might get there still. No, not quite, but now he's under attack from Chuck, and Chuck's got through past Dyson. Dyson's just being squeezed out a little bit there. Orton goes wide, Thomas is off. Thomas with a major off. Got himself wide, got himself on, there on the dirty stuff, and yeah, that was it. That was the end of that. So, after getting himself up there, oh, and he might have got pushed, but must have got pushed. Dyson's waited for him, so yeah, I didn't see that. I thought it was just because he went wide, but clearly he got pushed out there. So, well done by Dyson for waiting. Someone else is waiting along there as well. I think so I'm not sure who that was. Prime, was it? Not sure why he was waiting, but anyway. Penalty as well for Thomas's troubles. That was for going a bit wide up there at the right hand. Up. So Dyson, then we've got Molson. He's got past Rodders there. So up to ninth for Molson. Rodders in 10th. So that's a little battle at the back there. Oh, Mel's Myson. Molson even, not Myson. That's Dyson and Molson. Added together, ain't it? So Molson, sorry, goes wide. Didn't get anything. Other than getting passed by Rodders. So back to 10th. Get my teeth back in. So Rodders then, up to 9th place. Let's have a look up top again, see what's happening. Oh, that's unforgiven still, third place. With Jerry pulling away now in second. Paul in fourth, Chuck no fifth, so it's all settling down a little bit up there, really. A prime in sixth place. And Thomas seventh, Dyson eighth. Let's go back to the leader. And uh, comfortable out there. Let's have a look, see what that gap is between him and Jerry. Well, he's not in sight yet, is he, Jerry? So, yeah, it's going to be... Well, he's probably going to be halfway down this straight before Jerry comes around the corner. There he is, so... Pretty much the entirety of that back straight there, the gap. But looking comfortable out top, isn't he, Wadru? No more than we'd expect, really, from the current champion. Friday night champion, that is. Obviously, it's a different... Uh, Championship altogether, but the Friday night reigning champion is the man. Jerry Dent, second place. Looking pretty good in that Genesis 2. Oh, Jerry. Think you'll be alright, not sure. I've always thought that was a penalty there, so maybe, maybe it isn't the entrance into there. Perhaps it is the exit where you get it. So this is probably the closest battle in all fairness at the moment, from what I can see. Unforgiven. Been chased down by Paul, but Unforgiven still got it now in third place. Paul thought about it, but no, he had to back off. Otherwise he was gonna hit the back of Unforgiven. So still third and fourth places then. You're looking at him. Ch 
truck is uh, looks to be closing in actually on these two as well. There he is. Yeah, he certainly is. So we're what, halfway, nearly halfway through this race. Pretty much halfway through this race now. Of race one. Still got another one to come, of course, after this, and uh, that's the one where pit stops are involved. But fifth place for Chuck then. And Prime Machine still in sixth, so looking alright at the moment is Prime. Just sliding it around the left hand of out. Dyson chasing him down. In seventh place. After giving back the place to Thomas, but he's actually got it back from Thomas, hasn't he? Thomas is back down to eighth now, so Thomas not with his best race here in race one. He's going to want to try and improve on that in race two for sure. I don't know whether he's getting the grips with this particular track here tonight. As I say, it's pretty technical. You either like it or you don't. Oh, and someone's gone off, and I think that was Prime. And it, yeah, I think he just kicked up the dirt, went a bit wide. Dyson's going to be on him, and he might have him. He's going to cover, though, Prime. Is he going to be taken down here? That, that could be a penalty. Went very wide out there on that runoff there, half a second. So it definitely is that exit, isn't it, that you get it. So, unfortunate for him, so that does mean that Dyson is going to get it because Prime pulls over immediately. He's not actually getting rid of it, but he's pulled over to try and get him out of his slip. It gets rid of it now, turn one or a little bit of it, but it goes on. No one, so it's happened. Oh, straight on. He's had a. He must have had a malfunction now. So it's happened. Oh, he's got the car going. Something's on, yeah, his hazards are on. Something's happened to Prime Machine, and I don't know, it looks like he's back on it now, so I'm not sure what that was about. But anyway, drops all the way down to 10th, so unfortunate for him. Let's keep an eye on that. Rodders in, up to 9th, Molson 8th. Let's go back to that for fourth place Chuck Paul battle because this is getting close and there we go. Well, he's close between Paul and Chuck anyway. Unforgiven's just putting that little gap ahead of them. So this is the battle and I think Chuck might be just a matter of time before he gets past Paul, I think. And uh, Paul will do all he can to, to keep him behind him, obviously, trying to defend as much as he possibly can. But that Peugeot is quicker along the straight sections or well, at least it is in the hands of Chuck and it oh and Paul a heavy hit on the curb there just can't seem to get that last year came right can he tonight not in the GT4 anyway he didn't get a penalty that time but he hit that curb really hard it's not going to do the suspension much good is it Chuck then fifth place and then a pretty big gap back to Dyson and Thomas but this looks to be where the battle is at the moment. As I said, I think it's just a inevitable now that, that Chuck's going to get pulled. Oh, he's looking. Oh, he didn't quite open up that gap there, did he? On the inside. Now there's a gap there. Now can he? No, again. Didn't quite get the run out of there. Paul is covering a little bit to the inside. It's not blocking, just covering. And and he's still behind him there. It's all clean though. But certainly it's quite clearly, it's quite clear that the Peugeot has got a little bit more pace than the Lexus in certain areas. Tyres are beginning to have their day as well, so it's going to be a factor here in these last 10 minutes or so. Again, Chuck having a look, and again, Paul covers. I think Chuck's opportunity is certainly going to be along the start or finish straight, where if he can get into the slip as well, he can get everything he can get out of that Peugeot and uh, get Paul at turn one, and Paul with another big hit on that curb. Oh, and a 
Yeah, well, let's see. Again, I'm not sure. It's almost a different line every lap, isn't it, for Paul? Uh, he's trying his best to keep Chuck off, and at the moment, he is, he is working, but here we go. This could be the opportunity. Chuck's getting into the slip now. Is it too late? Is the turn one going to come too quickly? Yeah, I think so. He's there now, and he's still behind him. Close, though. Very, very close. Let's go back then. Dyson yeah, is on his own now a little bit. But sixth place at the moment. And then we've got Thomas after his big off in seventh. And then an even bigger gap back to Rodders and Molson and Prime. So there's your, there's your field, really. Let's go back to the leader and see. Is Jerry gaining? No, absolutely not. Rodrew just going through the motions, isn't he, here? We'll just run that clock down. Again, not having to push hard. Got no pressure whatsoever from anybody, anywhere. Enjoying the scenery and uh, pretty much got this one done and dusted, hasn't he? Really, Jerry? Well, he'll do all he can, of course, to close that gap and try and gain as much as he can. And he might be gaining on him slowly, but whether there's enough time left with 10 minutes remaining, I'm not so sure. But as I've said before, it's not over till the fat lady sings and it's coming through that final right hand and out to start, start lap 11 or 12 even and uh, yeah pretty comfortable now unforgiven then we get back to him in third place then it's still Paul and Chuck and they're still in them same positions and they just cannot quite get it can Chuck can't get just that close enough to get past Paul so it's been several laps now isn't it that these two have been battling it out and uh, I say Chuck's you've quick through this section in particular and then maybe Paul's a bit quicker in other sections. Oh, there you go, look, Chuck's right up now. He's going to pull out now. He's, going to, he's got a better exit out of there. He's going to go for the wider line, see if he can get on the inside. No, but he'll be eyeing it up. So he's had a look now. So maybe that's the opportunity next time round. If he doesn't get in before then, it was an opportunity. It looked like he got better drive out of that, around that right hand. And if he can stay wide, get himself on the inside for the next left, it could be the answer to uh, to get it past him. No, he's trying everything. Oh, he could get him down here, of course. Now, here we go. Uh, again, Paul staying on the inside, covering that inside line. He's going to do the switch back. Chuck, oh, and Paul runs wide, and that could be the opportunity because he's ran wide, isn't he? And he is, he's going to get it. He does, he does. Not a no, yeah, lovely through there. Was a little tag, but not. Nothing bad. That was uh, clean. It was a good move, really. Paul just went wide, didn't he? At the end of that straight to the hairpin, the door opened and, uh, and Chuck got through. So that's it. It's taken him a few laps, but he's got there. So up in the fourth go, Chuck. Paul's fifth. And then Dyson still in sixth place. Thomas seventh. So. Not going to be a lot of change, I don't think, back here. Having said that, there's a little battle here between Molson and Rodders again. So Molson is caught all the way back up onto the back of Rodders. And Prime Machine back there in 10th after his uh, malfunction. There he is in the distance back there. Oh, Molson. Getting it back, wheels on the grass, don't want to be doing that. Could be ending up on the other side of the track and it goes wide, nearly at the back of Molson. Uh, back of Rodders and uh, he got his braking a bit wrong there. So he's lost time to Rodders now. Rodders in eighth still. 
but that was an opportunity Molson had there and uh, I quite know what happened but just lost his bearings a bit I think he just had to move out of the way otherwise he was going to ram straight into the back of Rodders didn't get the braking right at all so Thomas said there's a, that battle still going on between Chuck and Paul I think and Paul's got him back again and Paul's got Chuck back where Chuck got him the lap before so he's got to do it again as Chuck So it looked like Chuck had got away in fourth place. Paul was having none of it, got that place back. And, uh, well, here we go again. Didn't get the best through there, Chuck. Lost a bit of time through the chicane that time round. So now it's just come off the back of Paul. Tires are now wearing thin, coming into his last five minutes for everybody so he's got one last push in that Peugeot can he get back into fourth that's the question and there'll be an answer after five minutes or in five minutes time I should say runs a bit wide there well it's not really that is the the runoff area for you to take so he's gonna try all he can to try and get the fourth place back off Paul whose tyres don't look great either especially that front left But everyone's is pretty much at it as Chuck, so yeah, pretty much the same, maybe a little bit better, but not a lot in it. So back with your leaders then, and Wardrew. Yeah, he's probably just pulled out a fraction more actually in his lead. Jerry second. He's actually got probably got the best tyres hasn't he at the moment I've seen barely anything on that front left I mean that is obviously going to be the one that's going to get the most wear being a right handed uh, circuit but in comparison with the other guys that's pretty good actually and unforgiven third place He'll settle for third for sure. Ball in fourth. Chuck fifth. He's, yeah, he's caught up a little bit. Paul, is not he? So maybe, maybe that is still on. With four minutes left. We'll come up to three minutes now. And maybe. And Jay Dyson, Thomas, are still in sixth and seventh. Looks about even them tyres. Well, not as Thomas is really. But probably at the moment, still Jerry's is probably the best. Jerry's and Thomas, maybe. I want to imagine a lot of Thomas's is filled up with rocks and stones when he had that big off. So, a completely new compound he's got on stone and grit compound it's called but uh, yeah he'd be kicking himself with that little mistake that he made or well, it wasn't a mistake was he got hit but you know still getting involved in an accident now at this point right here and uh, it might have cost him some valuable points Rodders and Molson who's got a penalty half a second penalty so just as Molson was catching Rodders again the attack was on but it's going to be switched off in a minute for when he has to get rid of that, unless he can do it without losing too much time, of course. It is quite possible. And then Prime, who's, it looks like he's actually caught up with these two. Still in 10th, but he ain't that far behind. There he is. He's got back on it after that malfunction. But Molson, still with that penalty. That's a shame because he was back on it and he's got rid of it right there and actually he didn't lose too much time, did he? So that is clearly the the part of the track to get rid of it at the hairpin, which I suppose makes sense, doesn't it, really? Slowest so corner on the track. and So, yeah, I guess. So, with 
well, well it runs wide there, so that's probably that chance gone. I was just about to say with a minute left, if you can get onto the back of Rodders, although he's not that far off, is he? Rodders still looks like he's struggling a little bit in that GTR. So maybe, maybe it's still possible to get eighth. You never know, so we'll watch that. But we will be on that final lap now. So let's just go back to our leader as he comes round to the final stages of this race and the first race. He's going to get victory. So maximum points for Wadroot. We're going to see him come, we'll stay with him and see him come across the, the line and the checkered flag. Well done. So there's your race winner then, Wadru. Position one. Finishes off in style. Jerry's going to get a good second place. Didn't quite have enough in the end, did he, Jerry? But good second place anyway. Unforgiven. He's going to come in third. This is where he's been a lot of the race, but... It's a good podium for him, good third place points. And then Paul's coming in in fourth and he's got a penalty to run off, which is going to be fine. He's got plenty of room behind him. But Dyson, Nick's fifth, Thomas in sixth. Chuck's had a moment, it's up back to seventh. Didn't see it, but he's obviously had a moment of some kind. Rodders then is going to come in. It's quite a way back here in eighth. So whatever that issue was with Chuck, unless he had a big penalty, he had to get off, but whatever happened, he got taken by Dyson and Thomas in the end. As we watch Rodders come round for eighth place. Well done. Molson ninth and Prime Machine in tenth place. So there's your race one, guys. Catch me again soon for race two, and I'll see you then.